good windy afternoon everybody so I hadn't planned on making a video today however when things on the homestead happen sometimes you might want to bring or I might want to bring you guys along so I'm gonna take you guys down here to the pole barn and show you guys something So a couple months ago, I made a video about how uh, we lost an entire litter of piglets and honestly, it was really, really devastating to me. So today, I have a friend running around with me because his roommate started having piglets this morning. So it does look like she's past some afterbirth. So we'll see if she's just gonna have the three or if she's gonna have more. She's still pretty big. So I'm gonna assume that she's gonna have a couple more. Um, but I wanted to bring you guys down and show you so far that we have three little piglets. And mama's done good. So I'm going to keep an eye on her. Um, it's really, really warm today. So just keep an eye, make sure she has plenty of water as she's starting to nurse. And um, we're going to get her some fresh hay to hopefully keep the flies at bay. And then um, I'll keep you guys up to date later on this afternoon to see how many she finishes with. Are you enjoying your free day since you got booted out of your room? Huh? And that pig is affectionately known as Zippy and Zippy will move be moving back in with Perry and Juniper um, and then next week Juniper is actually going to go in the other stall um, because her due date based on when she was bred is July 4th so we'll pull her out of the back and get her ready um, so that when she has when it's her turn, um, she's got a safe and dry place for her babies. All right, so it's a little bit later. Let's go see how she's doing. I joked with my midwife during my last labor that I would make a terrible midwife because I'm super impatient. And so I waited an hour and the kids are reading right now. So I'm gonna sneak down here and see if she's had any more. Right, so she's moved around a little bit, but she's acting like she's still in labor. So we're gonna leave her be. Check back with her in a little bit. All right, so I'm going to get back in the house to go check on the kids, but I think probably 
for my sake, I do better when they just deliver them all at night and then I wake up and there's cute babies. <laughs> Cause I could stand there and be like, okay, is she done? No, I don't know. Uh, so we'll give her some more time. Come back down and check on her. Um, she, the first litter she delivered for me had six piglets. Um, the second litter is the litter that I lost. Um, and I know she had at least four, but I'm pretty sure she probably had more. So hoping for four to six, maybe more. We'll see how she does. All right. I have my little helper with me this time and we'll see how she's doing. Okay, so it's been a couple hours since she started labor. I'm gonna just kind of assume that she's done. And if she surprises me later, awesome. Um, but we're gonna call it a litter of three for now. And then this evening, once Tim gets home from work and his errands, if there are more, then awesome. If not, we have a healthy litter of three. Huh, say three babies. Hey, say three babies. You say hi? <laughs> He's distracted by the pig. Ah! Ah, big kisses to the phone! <laughs> what are you doing, Zippy? Zippy! Alright, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because of the wind. Um, but I noticed she was up and about a little bit ago. So. I'm gonna head down here and check on her before I start my evening chores and see what our final count is. Hi, Mama Pig. Hey, Mama Pig. Oh, that's not good. Hey, hey, you need to get in there with your mama. about Zippy being here. So, I'm a little wary to get in there to put him in the nest. Oh, oh okay. That's not good. Hmm. Hey, little guy. Come up in there. We may have a problem. Oh, dear. Gail, no. All right, I'm gonna get her some food and some water and then hopefully I can sneak in there and get that baby piglet in the nest with some fresh hay. Hopefully she won't reject it. That'd be sad. I'll grab water from over here. gonna let it nurse, which is good. It's not rejecting. Alright, so since she is letting him nurse, I'm gonna go grab the straw first, and then I'm gonna feed her. Um, so that hopefully that baby can get Claustrum. I'm, I'm assuming it probably already has, but just to be safe. I think she was upset at the piglet or Zippy being near her babies, and so when she went to 
coil at him. She accidentally got the piglet. So I think that's what happened. So I'm gonna get her some food. Now that she has farrowed, she'll get as much food as she can eat now. So um, we'll feed her a lot um, day and night so that she's got plenty of food for them babies. Everybody else is angry now, but you know what? They didn't just deliver babies. So, <laughs> from mom to mom, mom gets a little extra something special. Okay, so while she was over there eating, I ran in there real fast and just kind of put the baby in with the others. And we should be good. I got her a fresh bale of straw. We'll get her some fresh mulch, especially over here. Oops, sorry, especially over here in that area tomorrow. But overall, these babies look good. It amazes me how lively they are from the get go. But she'll get in there and she'll romp all the straw around and make a real pretty nest for the babies and her. All right, so she is very testy this go around. So I must be real careful with the kids and her, making sure they are super aware that they are not to go under there, in there with her because, um, yeah, she's she's on edge. So we're gonna respect her space as a new mama and give her what she needs so she can take care of those babies. So. Thanks for joining me on another adventure here on the homestead where we welcomed in some new life. And um, we'll see you next time.